Iman is a single mother to a 15-year-old daughter. She also looks after her disabled sister. When the conflict started, she fled from place to place inside Syria. Iman was displaced no fewer than four times inside the country. When her life savings dried up, Iman faced a stark choice. Stay and die or leave the country. ما قدرت استحمل من جوع من برد من حصار من كتير شغلات صارت من قصف يعني العالم قدامنا تموت من أثناء القصف من الجهتين العالم تموت يعني ما عد وضعنا يستحمل نضلنا في سوريا ما عد أقدر يعني أعصابنا تعبت أنا وبنتي وأختي وأخي تعبت يعني أعصابنا Thousands of Syrians have lived similar stories Today, the number of Syrians who fled their country is set to reach 3 million. Syrians are now the world's largest refugee population under UNHCR care, second only in number to the decades-long Palestinian crisis. The Syria operation is now the largest in UNHCR's 64-year history. Neighboring countries and humanitarian agencies struggle to keep up. We are doing the best we can. The programs are ongoing uh, and we will continue to advocate for more support to neighboring countries, especially Lebanon, because there is a true need for financial support and burden sharing with a country that small accommodating this big a number of refugees. Iman paid $200 for transport and paperwork she needed to leave the country. The family now survives on cash assistance and food vouchers provided by aid agencies. But Iman longs for the day that she can go back home to Syria. There are now three million refugees who share Iman's hardship and pain. Leaving was their last resort. Now they face an uncertain future and a long wait to go home.